Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Neo, ticker symbol, N-I-O. Wow, what a week we had, right? We broke out the two important support level and the white line we drew on the previous video to keep an eye. Sure not, we fall 42.73 and we came back at 43.41. Before I talk on the technical analysis more, let's talk about some feature growth right we, this is the on the website of neo and i wanted to quickly show you guys their offices the headquarters and some stuffs of the growth right this is all in china shanghai ife belgium right even in germany munich in germany right there folks this is the building they have they even have it in san jose california right they have one of their headquarters in california so this is all showing signs of growth folks all sign of growth right this is what we want to hear this is what we want to see i'm excited right i am going to be more excited also when they come to the united states which is a bigger market also right so what else we got right neos promised they they were supposed to have 500 bat battery swap station end of the year they have raised it to 700 battery swap stations in the year so they are looking at about 300, right now they have 308 battery uh, swap station, 110 superchargers, 387 destination charging stations, and 380,000 third-party charging piles, right? Man. Let's talk about the cash, right? They have $7.3 billion ammunition, right? So they have $7.3 billion in cash and cash equivalents in the end of first quarter. We support these aggressive goals. Um... We knew that X Bank already went to the public in Hong Kong, right? Um, it's not what, however, battery substation is a capital incentive to build, right? That's why I always cover the battery substation because there's another source of revenue is continuously flowing to NEO, and that's what we all want to hear about, right? Also, I'm not done yet, folks. I'm definitely not done yet. I want to share with you guys. So they want to have over 4,000 battery uh, uh, swap stations worldwide by 2025. In addition to raise the, this year's target, New has announced the targets coming out this year's. This year's. By the end of 2025, New has more than, will have more than 4,000 bat, 4, battery swap stations, including 1,000 in overseas markets, Mr. Lee Q said, right? 2022, NIO will add 600 battery swap stations per year in China market. Wow, man, this, this is massive, massive, massive news that we want to hear and we've been hearing it. So I love it, folks. This is, this is all sign of growth, right? That's all we want to hear, the growth. Let's talk about the technical side, right? Hey, folks, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button so you guys can constantly support the channel and you guys be updated on the recent news always comes out sorry i lost my voice so i'm not feeling well uh, but i wanted to do a quick video to share with you guys right so what we what are we looking at right we're going to go back to six months for our time frame and the key white one that i i uh, the technical that i drew on the chart was to see if it drops because it was we had a massive support level over here and showing it folks where it dropped it came all the way to 42.52 bounce off right off and and came all the way go tested our support and we filled so this six forty six dollars and 29 cents is going to act as a massive massive resistance to break out right i'm going to have this 550 dollars and 11 cents we're going to be the next resistance which acted as a support right so what i'm looking at it uh, and moving forward to see where the stock is going to head. Um, RSI, right, we were on the oversold territory, but the MACD, folks, selling pressure is going down and down, right? Uh, and then we are testing our 200-day moving average is acting as a support. We need to break out. We definitely break out these two levels, right, to have a clear indication. Once we break out and it comes to $50.11 and we hold, then we have a complete then we have an uptrend uh moving forward right now there's not a set um uptrend confirmation yet so i'm not going to give you guys a false hope to see oh it's going to adjust the pullback right it is a pullback but we gotta wait and see if 
if we break out the fifty dollar eleven cents, um, so to give us a clear indication, right? I'm gonna go back quickly to the year to date. Look at this year to date, right? We had a massive run, massive run all the way higher, fifty four. Uh, 91 and we we talked actually when 55 dollars and nine uh 13 cents we talked about 54 dollar 91 cents as a massive massive uh resistance level so two massive resistance level then we need to break out one is without doubt is 46.29 and the next one is 53 dollars and 13 cents right right now on the year to date the one day chart you see that our 60 day the yellow line is a 60 day is acted as a massive support it hold and went up all the way from 43 to all the way to 46 right uh, 200 day moving average is the pink line which all is acting as a support so I uh, I know some of you guys are not um, I kind of worried us like oh he's gonna come back all the way to $30 I don't see Neo coming all the way to $30 definitely not seeing it but I can definitely see coming and testing the level of $43 and 55 cents again Yes, unfortunately, I can see that testing it in order to create higher highs. But the month of July and August, folks, it is, it is a tech sector, uh, so uh, anything is possible. So, which means means that we're definitely gonna see the highs of 50 very soon in this month. I'm very confident and stuff. Uh, there's key options on that. So what I did uh, on my side, like when it came to the white line we drew in the previous video, I loaded up some call options. Um, in order to get it uh so which i did and i'm gonna keep adding it if if it's gonna to keep uh coming to a certain level uh but i don't see it below 43 folks i don't see below 43 55 and closing the day like that it's very rare for neo to come back now to see it it's it's a correction that we needed a little bit to have a higher highs and you've seen in the past right history repeats itself like when we came all the way up here to 40 57 we came back all the way to 38 we traded in between and then we shoot to higher highs right that's what we wanted so that's why you'll see up here in between this channel trading in between to 40 43 to 47 level in order to make another higher high go test of 5491 and 58 dollars and so forth right so overall i'm very impressed with neo's performance um what we got right um but and, and the growth that's all we want to hear the growth of the company is massive that's what we want to hear um and it continuously continuously outperforming all their expectations and that's all the signs of a stock to be a triple digits yes my prediction still stands in 2025 i can definitely see this stock over 300 dollars stock right uh, there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of potential of this stock uh, um, on these markets, and they're growing, like in Germany, right? They started working out in Germany, they hired a, they're looking for a G general manager in Germany for NEO, and also moving forward, they will be uh, looking, coming to the United States, that's another market they've been monitoring it. Hey folks, that's all I have, thank you very much for watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, I really appreciate you guys' support, and have a good day.